Among the storage services, Azure Blob Storage is extremely popular. It is a highly versatile cloud storage solution that offers four different tiers for storing data, each designed to suit unique use cases. It is important for you to know and understand the features of each of these tiers. Each has certain unique properties associated with it. They include whether the tier is online or offline, the minimum number of days you need to store data in it, the cost associated with access and storage, whether you can use that tier as a default tier while creating the service, and finally, the applicable use cases. The first tier is the hot access tier, which is ideal for frequently accessed or modified data. This has the highest storage cost, but the lowest access cost, making it a great option for workloads requiring high speed access. It is an online tier that can be used as a default tier. The second tier is the cool access tier, which is the most suitable for storing infrequently accessed or modified data that must be kept for at least 30 days. Compared to the hot tier, it has lower storage cost but higher access cost, making it an excellent choice for you looking to optimize your storage cost. Again, it is an online tier that can be used as a default tier. Hot and cool are two of the most popular options. The third tier is the cold access tier. Like the cool tier, the cold tier is designed for storing infrequently accessed or modified data. However, it has a minimum storage period of 90 days and cannot be used as a default tier. The cold tier offers lower storage cost but higher access cost than the hot tier, making it a great option for you if you are looking to store data for longer periods. It may look very similar to the cool tier, but the difference lies in the number of minimum days. The fourth and final tier is the archive access tier. This tier is designed for storing rarely accessed data offline and has a minimum storage period of 180 days. It offers the lowest storage cost, but the highest access cost, making it a great option if you are storing large quantities of data for long periods. It is an offline tier and hence can take hours to restore the data. It is worth noting that it is possible to change the tier of a blob after it has been created. However, if a blob is moved to a different tier before the minimum storage data has been met, there may be an yearly denition penalty. As such, it is recommended that you carefully consider your storage requirements before choosing a tier for your data.